Happy day, friends. It is a beautiful day outside. It's like the first kind of warm day. No, it's like really the first warm day. It's gonna be up to 70 degrees today. Wait a second, please don't get into these seeds yet. We are gonna go outside and plant some flowers. The girls have been asking to plant flowers for a long time now. Finally warm enough to do it. They got these from the Easter Bunny. Hey Paige, uh, yep, this one's yours. Look, I got a label maker, you guys. I was so excited to be able to label things, so I went a little ham. Let's go out. Yeah, you can put that in your little pot when we plant the flowers. First, snack time though. Okay, I'll be right out. You sit at the table. We've got a gardening station and we'll have our snack station. It's a beautiful day. To any of you that have recently had a baby or like have multiples, I, I'm not gonna say I forget about him, but there are times when I'm distracted with the girls, like I just was, and I'm like, oh, where's Lucas? Where's, is he okay? Where is Lucas? And he's always, he's always fine, okay? Like, I always take care of him. Uh-oh. Oh, he's starting to stir. He's happily napping in his crib, hopefully, still happily. But he's, he's happy and napping, and hopefully he'll settle back down. Oh no, I jinxed it. But there are times, because he's been so good lately. He has been such an awesome baby. We're sleeping a little bit better through the night. We're getting close to three hour stretches in between feedings rather than one hour stretches. So I'm feeling a lot better. He's feeling a lot better. But there are times when I, I'm distracted. I'm like, oh no, where's my baby? <laughs> They're so cute. They play so good together. I feel so lucky. I feel so lucky that <laughs> that we had Paige as kind of an accident. <laughs> Uh-oh, baby brother's waking up. I gotta go help him. Here you go. And here you go. Enjoy your snacks, I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I can settle him again. See if I can just settle him back down. Here's to hoping that he sleeps for another half hour. <laughs> but we will see. Mommy's gonna have a snack. Can I sit at your table? No, you're too big. Oh, but I can be little. I can fit right here like this. Can I do that? Yeah. Yes, I get to sit at the cool kid table. I have been really focusing on my nutrition, like especially towards the end of the pregnancy and through to now. I've been trying to get enough protein. I've been trying to limit added sugars, stuff like that. Uh, these are my go-to. These are beef sticks. They are so good. They're the best beef sticks I've ever had, better than any jerky that I've ever had. And Paige loves them too. I should have known you were gonna ask. Yeah, I'll give you a little piece. Um, Mom, I like them too. Okay, you do like them too, dang it. But these are made by the same supplement company that makes my prenatals that I love. They make our protein powder that we love. Like, so many things from them we use on the daily. It's always in the link in our description um, or you can go to firstform.com slash happy day and you can get uh, free shipping and they do offer a 110% money back guarantee which is awesome if you don't love it. High quality protein, uh, definitely good for something quick grab, grab and go. Mom, can you open that and get those tools out? Go get your gardening tools first. Well, I thought they would be super into growing some flowers and planting their own pots, but I have underestimated their love for bug catching. Hey girls, do you want to do some flowers now and do some ants later? Yeah, okay, let's do flowers. Go away, bug. Whoa, you okay? <laughs> Move it out and make it flat, and then we'll do the watering after we plant the seeds. Use the other side, Micah. Like this. You guys get to pick out which flowers you want to do. These are honeybee buffet flowers. This is Lizzie. And this is snapdragons. You want to do the honeybees? Okay, oh, which I one? I want to do snapdragons. Uh -huh. That's a good idea. I think I'll poke some. Ew, Micah picked snapdragons. All right. Mom, I like Snapdragon, but I also like these. Look how tiny those seeds are. Those turn, yep, and sprinkle them in. Sprinkle some more in. Okay, ready to plant your seeds, Paige? Yep. Yeah. Your honeybee seeds? Yeah, honeybee. Grab them with your fingers. Yep, now sprinkle them in the holes. Now we gotta, what do plants need to grow? Water. 
Water, that's right. Okay, get your watering cans. Water cans! Okay. Water cans ready. Okay, go ahead and water your flowers. Yep, a little more. We gotta water them all in. Can you girls remember? We need to water. <laughs> we need to water these every day for a while. That went just about how I expected it to go. I've been looking forward to that for a long time. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> Look at this little man. Look at this little man. What you seeing? You see the fan? You love to look at the fan. Up, down. One, two, three. Up, down. That's what we like to do to get your tummy moving a little, huh? Get your legs moving and your tummy moving. He is so sweet, you guys. Such a sweet baby. Yeah, I know the hiccups. Oh, and his little cry is such a sweet little cry. I wanted to touch on something um, that I think is very important to talk about postpartum. So I'm approaching eight weeks, and this time around, like third pregnancy, third postpartum, has been absolutely amazing. My postpartum with Micah and Paige I guess let me first start out talking about what I'm referencing. Um, postpartum depression um, and postpartum anxiety, postpartum rage, postpartum, you know, any of those mental things that can happen postpartum. Um, I, I don't think they're talked about enough. Mental health in general, like, is, is starting to be talked about more, which I think is great. Um, but postpartum, your hormones, they can be nasty. They can be really nasty. Um, with Micah and Paige, I don't know if I would go as far to say that I had, no, I guess I did have a little bit of postpartum depression after Micah. It's such a blur, I can't even remember. I just know that this time around, as I'm approaching eight weeks, everything has been so much better. So much better. I feel like I have a clear mind. I feel like I can fully enjoy him in the newborn stage. And I wasn't able to enjoy my girls in the newborn stage very much. Um, everything felt like such a blur. It was just, it was very different for me. And this time around, I feel like I have such a clear mind, even though I'm not sleeping well. And I attribute that to a few things. I feel like my pregnancy in general was pretty mild. Um, I feel like... My delivery was really good. I did not even tear. And so my healing physically was really good. And I know that that, that put me behind with, with the girls, especially Micah. But this time around, I really, really focused on my nutrition, specifically eliminating most sugars. Um, I eliminated a lot of processed foods, starting especially about three weeks before I gave birth because I knew as I approached actually having Lucas, it was even more important for me to be in a good headspace um, immediately postpartum. So for about three weeks before, I was really cautious of what I put into my body. And I don't know, some of you guys might have been around for this long. Six or so years ago, I completely changed my diet in certain ways. And I really focused on my gut health. And I eliminated my depression just by changing what I ate. And that was like a big eye opener for me to know how much food affected my mental state and my body, the physical symptoms that I would experience from the food I was eating and how it all played into the mental and physical and it all works together, you guys. <laughs> um, but I learned so much about my body back then. So I really knew going into this birth that I wanted to be in the best mental state that I possibly could. After I had Paige, I had a lot of postpartum anxiety, much of which was due to the pandemic, right? I did not, I was having my baby right in the beginning stages of the pandemic where we didn't really know anything about it. And it was like the whole country was put on lockdown and it was just scary for 
for stuff for anybody bringing a baby into the world. My mood was not stable. I was very anxious. I would get upset very easily, very irritable. A lot of you have kind of asked me, well, like, how are you doing, you know? And, and when people ask me that, I feel like they're inferring, like, how are you doing mentally? Like, how, how is your mental state? And this time around, it has been so good, which is so shocking to me because it has been a struggle in the past. And especially when I have limited sleep, it always tends to downward spiral. And this time it has not because I have put so much emphasis on my nutrition. And I'm so thankful that I did that because with everything we've, we've been having to take care of with Lucas and his medical issues, I feel like I would not be okay. I would not be well if I was not taking care of myself. And so I think taking care of yourself is so important in general and postpartum especially. It's so important to take care of yourself um, because postpartum depression, anxiety, rage, like all those things, they can creep up on you. Um, and sometimes you don't even see it coming. So so fingers crossed, I'm, 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 I'm doing good right now. Hopefully as, as we move forward, I will still be doing well. Um, very, very grateful to have the knowledge that I do about my own body and it helps me to be a better mom. I just got done doing about hour, hour and a half of yard work. Getting the gardens ready because I'm determined to have a garden with growing real life vegetables and f hopefully some fruit. Where are you going? I'm going to get more bunny crackers. More bunny crackers? Maybe you should get like... Whatever. <laughs> Lots of sunshine too. I've been trying to get out. I mean, I love being outside. I love being in the sun, and I think that has helped as well. I didn't, I didn't anticipate this conversation continuing outside, um, but sunlight definitely has helped, helped me get through any like postpartum hormones. And don't get me wrong, I've definitely, I have definitely like had days where I'm feeling super emotional, but it's not in a negative way. It's like, oh, my baby's so sweet. I love him so much. And I cry about it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. More bunny crackers. The real reason I brought the camera out here was not to tell you how I keep myself happy. It was to show you guys this red hair. It shows so much better outside, even when I'm not directly in the sun, because I noticed it when I wasn't directly in the sun, but I don't even know if you guys can see it very good. It's still oh, so red, yeah. and even the new growth that's coming in yeah, Mom, looks better red. To eat here. You want to eat over there? That's fine. Just don't get a sunburn. But, oh my gosh. Love. Love. I'm so in love. I can't believe he has red hair. I just can't even believe it. Never, ever, ever would have anticipated that. We, we joked about it, actually. Well, Mike is running up in the Shire. I think, I think that's what I'm going to call this place. I think I'm going to call it our... Our little shire. May as well because my feet are looking more and more like a hobbit as the days go by. Paige is still napping. Little boy is looking like he's gonna nap. He's got crumbs in his hair. And I think I'm gonna just enjoy being outside. Austin's getting some work done today, unfortunately. It's so beautiful out. But I'm gonna sign out of the vlog, enjoy some time with baby brother and Micah. And thanks again to those of you who have kind of checked up on me and Lucas and and Austin and the girls and, and just all of us. We feel very, very lucky to have this community that has grown from our vlog. And it's just a really special thing. So thank you guys for being here and we will see you next time. Bye friends.